Hey, Travis, you got anything to throw in there for AGA on, on some of the questions we can uh, have our listeners now that we have a real estate agent right now in, live in here in studio? Um, I think you touched on some really good things there, um, especially for the people that were maybe thinking, hey, I'm, I'm stuck in a condo. Um, but now, you know, with the FHA stuff, you know, coming into play, maybe I can get a single family. So it's a good time to reach out, make sure you talk to your agents, um, because this is coming into play here in you know, another week or two. And it's going to be live. So it's a great opportunity to check and see what else is out there, especially the rates, of course, being low. So, um, well, I know you guys at Whistle also do a lot of condos. So we, we talked about it's hard to find anything under 400 for a house. What are you seeing two bedroom, two bath, you know, for a nice condo? Because, you know, condo can be a great way to live for a lot of people that don't want to have the maintenance of the yard, who like the, you know, like to have some protection. Maybe they give up a little bit of privacy, but it's nice to be in a safe environment. I think a lot of people like that where they have neighbors close by. If something happens, you know, where like in my house, I mean, the nearest neighbor, I can see them, but they're, you know, hundred plus yards, almost all the way around. I've got like a hundred yards around the house, which is gives it really private, but also, you know, anybody can probably walk into my house anytime type of thing. So, yeah, you know, a, a condo two, two in a nice area, you're looking somewhere between maybe 275 and 350, somewhere in that range. Just depends on what you're looking for. I mean, you go to Mission Valley and pay five hundred thousand for a two bedroom, but uh, you know, there's there's some nice opportunities out there. Uh, like you said, a lot of people just want the the convenience. Not only that, it's it's a community, so you you have friends and neighbors, and there's a lot more people that are involved in your your direct community. You've got pool and workout room. You meet people. It's just depend different style. Of different living. style of living. Yeah, and that's what we sell more than anything is lifestyle. How do you want to live? Where do you want to live? Because I like to shop. I like the restaurants and the bars. Well, we're going to pick the area based on that, not on your price range. You know, so it's it's really just so what listen, you're listen for. to your buyer, helping them find some of the solutions on what works best. So some of the things I notice is like a, you know, it's crazy, but most people here in, in San Diego pay rent somewhere between eighteen hundred to probably twenty five hundred dollars. Right, Mike, would you say that's about the average rent? Absolutely. All right. So that, that's kind of what we're seeing. And you can buy a three hundred thousand right. dollar place typically at the same or cheaper. And then when you figure in your tax deductions, Travis and AJ, I mean it just makes absolute sense. I mean it's rent, a no brainer. No it's brainer. A no brainer. Right? I mean I just it's amazing. So if you haven't had an opportunity yet to to sit down with a expert agent again